Hi, this is Paula from CHNE. This week, we spoke with a member of a group of citizens in Shetty Camp who have been writing letters to government officials. They wrote to MPs, MLAs, ministers from both levels of government, and more. Their goal is to have this year's grab on lobster fishing season remain closed, as they feel it would create a great risk of spread of COVID-19 in the community. We do have a group of people that um, just showed concern, I guess, via social media, via Facebook, and led by a citizen of Shetty Camp who knows the destruction that opening the fisheries could cause to our community. He's worked in the safety of the fishermen for many years, and um, it was quite evident that he was to step in and help us help the community. So that's exactly what we did. We just rallied by seeing each other's comments. We knew that these people could work. We could all work together. And we are all just citizens here in this community. That's all we are. Some of us are linked to the fishermen. Some of us are not. Um, but we all have that common goal is to not see this virus move into our community and destroy it. Fishing is one of the economic drivers in the rural community of Shetty Camp. About 900 people from the area worked in the fisheries in 2018, the latest numbers available. That's about 18% of the population, according to the Stats Canada Zone Division, which counts about 5,000 residents. 759 people worked as self-employed fishers in 2018, and over 100 at the local processing plant. Not to mention the out-of-province fishers and plant workers that will come with the opening of the crab season set for this coming Friday, April 24. Fisheries and Oceans Canada has yet to announce a decision on the lobster season. No matter the choice, it will have a deep impact on the community. Besides safety, fishers also worry they won't have a market to sell their product to. In 2018, Nova Scotia exported over $2 billion worth of seafood, with its biggest markets being the United States, China and the European Union. Markets are now closed. Many say there isn't even a local market for lobster since it's usually sold at casinos, cruises, and restaurants. The Gulf Nova Scotia Fishermen's Coalition, which represents 134 fishers in the region, is requesting for the government not to open the lobster season this year. Because of the seasonal nature of the trade, the coalition wants an aid package that would cover fishers for the whole year instead of the four months offered by the Canada Emergency Response Benefit. We have been uh, formed a subcommittee and have been dialoguing with PI in New Brunswick uh, to see what possible package we could put together that would fit within the programs that the federal and provincial governments have now and, uh, and see if there was a, an option uh, other than fishing. Although we haven't heard from Minister Jordan about a decision on the lobster season yet, Cape Breton Council MP Mike Kellaway says a variety of options are being explored. What I'm hearing, um, not so much from the minister, but from the FLAs around the riding, uh, that um, many FLAs are putting in extensions to the year, like to push the year back. That's what I'm hearing. Um, when it comes to the uh, minister, uh, I've written now, uh, I think, two rather detailed letters to her um, that she has responded to me, that she's received them in terms of recommendations, in terms of uh, other items related to the fishery, other measures that I think would be helpful to the fishery for those that want to fish, but those that for health reasons and economic reasons would like to have an option to not to fish. Uh, so I've, I've, I've sent that to uh, both the Minister of Fisheries and the Minister of Finance, and they've both acknowledged uh, the letters. A decision on the matter is expected this coming week. Keep sending us your questions at chne.television at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.